Some really good changes are happening with many of the cruise lines, so I want to tell you what to expect on cruise day so you can be ready and know what awaits you. For first-time cruisers and many-time cruisers, hey guys, I'm Michael, and welcome to the channel. Here we offer tips to save you time and money, so please hit that subscribe button and check out our other videos. Alright, let's do it. Getting to the port to board your ship. Most cruise lines do offer shuttle service to and from the airport at a fairly inexpensive rate. I usually will use the shuttle to return to the airport after the cruise, but I don't use it from the airport to board the ship. Now, in a perfect world, you could fly in and touch down and then shuttle over and board onto the boat. But for anyone who has ever flown before, we all know that it's not a perfect world. So I fly in the day before because I do not want to miss that ship. Now when you arrive at the port to board your ship, the luggage crew will meet you usually at the vehicle to take your luggage. I guess they don't want people hanging around the parking lot with their luggage and maybe decide to set up a thrift sale or something. These guys do enjoy being tipped, by the way, and they can point you in which direction to go from there if you need. Your first stop when checking in will be security. Here, everyone walks through, and it's usually a fairly steady and speedy process. Next up, you'll enter on into the terminal. Now here is where some changes are being made. It used to be like with Carnival, you had about a three hour window for boarding time and there could be a pretty long wait sometimes. But now, some cruise lines are giving you a more specific time to check in at the terminal with a much better 30-minute window time frame, cutting down on your wait time and keeping things far more organized. Okay, here in the terminal is where you'll have your passport or birth certificate verified and get your key card for your cabin this will also, of course, be your cash card or purchasing card for the cruise. While you're waiting verification, this would be the perfect time to set your watch to whatever the local time zone is, as this will be the ship's time zone for the duration of your cruise. If you're sailing into other time zones, sometimes the time on your cell phone will change to match that time zone, so a watch is a great idea. When your ship ports at islands in places with a different time zone, you'll know what time to be back on board so as not to miss the boat. Now once you're verified and you have your key card, then you're ready and it's on to the gangway to board the ship. And once stepping onto the ship, here's a tip for you. There is a chance that your cabin may or may not be quite ready yet and your luggage may not have arrived outside your cabin door yet either. Here is where I would suggest that you or someone in your group maybe have a small backpack or carry bag for personal items that you may want or need to access like a camera, medication, contact solution, anything like that. Also during this time that you first board please know this is usually when everybody makes a run for the food which that's okay, but just a heads up on that one. Just so you know, those areas are usually really busy at first. For me, unless I'm just really starving, I would rather take this time to walk around the ship and learn where everything's located, like finding my cabin and maybe locate the dining room on my key card so I'll know where to show up for dinner. All right, and then finally, of course, you're going to have a mandatory safety drill just before setting sail, and then you're on to a fantastic adventure. There will also be a sail away party out by the main pool area that's a lot of fun. So take that in if you can. Then after that, it's history in the making. So hey, get out there and have some fun, make some memories, and enjoy that vacation. Guys, again, my name's Michael. How about a thumbs up? And remember to subscribe to see our upcoming stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.